Well, good evening, everybody. We're about to launch a brand new one day special, and this is really living up to the billing. We are talking Moda Fabric, American, American Gatherings, and speaking of special, can I also introduce you to the lovely Jenny Raymond as well? <laughs> How are you? I'm very well, and it's lovely to be here. And you and I have had such fun because I had a chance to work with these fabrics, and I have spent some very happy days in my workshop making this lot. Well, um, it looks Phenomenal, Jenny. Absolutely it's just incredible. It's lovely, lovely fabric to work yeah. with. When you've really got nice fabric, it pressed nicely, it cut beautifully, it was soft, it was usable. Yeah. Um, it was such a joy to have really good quality fabric to work with and yeah. in red, white and blue. So great colours. Yes. But you know when you're talking about the quality of the fabric, because you've been prolific in what you've made, you can see how much enjoyment you've got from playing yes. with these fabrics. Yes, I did. They are and, stunning. And I've made different things for the various samples I'm going to show you. So behind me you've got things from my books, things that have come out of my head, traditional things and indeed we have to say a big thank you to Lynn Quine mm -hmm. who embroidered the middle of this bit for me so if anyone's got an embroidery machine and indeed there was one on the previous show just yeah. think what you could do in red yeah. or in white or in blue and that was on the layer cakes that we've also got on the show so we've got two different layer cakes white and cream and there you have this really super uh, embroidery Wow, okay, we Thank will get a better Lynn. shot of that. Uh, we've got, we got screens separating for safety and we had to shoot through that, but we'll get a better shot of it. I'm just going to tell you what you're getting with the one day special. There are three different options. So, as Jenny was saying, red, white, uh, sorry, red, uh, blue, and we've also got a multi, but red, white, and blue. Yes. Uh, we're going to start with our navy option. So, you're getting 10 American fat quarters, Moda fabric. It is absolutely sublime. It's a beautiful, beautiful. Blue, or navy as we're saying, and uh, white, it's just such a classic look. It's, it's, it's good for anybody. It will yeah. go anywhere. It will also mix and match with other colours. If you're really stuck for thinking about things for fellows, mm -hmm. you've got fabrics in there that are not floral. You've got the stripes. Yeah. You've got the one with the writing on it. You've got the um, lovely sort of itsy bitsy dotty patterns. Mm -hmm. You've got the ones with the stars on. It's great for boys. So thinking boys that did a quilt Very behind good. me. Yeah. Um, if you just want something really fresh and crisp and summer is coming, mm -hmm. it's going to look fantastic on that table. Oh, outside. Yeah. I've got to say, I, I'm, I've described it as white. It is more, and uh, the description we've given it is cream, and I, I would say it is more cream. It's a creamy white. Yeah, yes. creamy white. Yes. There creamy we go. You should be a politician, Jenny. <laughs> uh, so, thirty-three ninety-nine is your price. You are saving six pounds, and you're getting ten beautiful, absolutely beautiful fat quarters from uh, Moda. That's your most, po okay, this is most popular already. Blue has gone to the lead. The thing is, blue's lovely. Why do you see the red? So there is no bad choice here. Jenny. No, there isn't. There isn't. Think, you actually, all... you need them all because when it comes to the red, yeah. there's a great vogue for doing red work, and yes. many people are stuck for getting fabrics to go with their red work That's quilts a good and point. things. Yeah. So there you have the fabrics. You, again, you can mix and match it with the layer cake we've got, uh, which is as Lynn did with her design. Mm -hmm. So it's an absolutely great starting point. And let's face it, red. I mean, you could even keep some of the fabrics for Christmas. So, you know, I know that's 360, well, God knows how many days away, but you've got it there. It's, again, a great mixture of ditzy bits, it's got stripes on it, it's got flowers on it, it's got stars on it. It really will get you going. Mm. Uh, 275 days until Christmas. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I've got to say, great point when you mentioned about the red work, because that is something we hear at Hachanda. You want to do red work, is finding the right fabric to complement your red work. And this is Moda, and it's such a beautiful uh, tone of red as well. Mm -hmm. Really, really elegant. Uh, so lovely fabrics, lovely designs. Uh, you've got a nice mixture within this. 33.99 is your price. You are saving six pounds. And we go through, you see, there's the stars, there's the stripes. Uh, you've got confetti in there. You've got old glory. Oh, glory. Now, there's a... That's there, what they call the American flag. Yeah, that is. Yes. And I was just thinking, there, isn't there... Um, is it French General? Is Moda French General? Have I just made that up? I don't know, to be honest yeah, with I you. Think there is, I think there is a yes. Moda French General. And it's, thank you. Haley was they like, are. yes. Because um, I'm just thinking, this kind of... If, you, if you're familiar with the French General uh, kind of fabric, this, this would play nicely. I would imagine it would do. I don't yeah. know the fabric, okay. but hey, come Same on. Same sort of red tones. Yes, yeah. it's brilliant then. Yeah. 33.99. Oh, yes, I do. I had a student who made a fabulous quilt. Yes, cracking fabric. You're yeah. quite right. Thank you. Uh, 33.99 is your price, saving £6. 470.921, your item number. 
Now, I know that you've got problems, because you love your navy, you love your red. If you're struggling between the two and you just want to go for one option, we've got the multi, and it's kind of the best of both worlds. I th absolutely agree with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, thinking bunting, I had to make some bunting, because, hey, come on, sometime yeah. this year, we are going to need bunting. We are. We are going to deck our, our streets with red, white, and blue, oh, and here's the fabric. I cannot wait. Yes, no. you're absolutely right. Bunting, we do need bunting. And actually, you've got some great rulers. We had them on the other day uh, to make bunting. And we've got some really good books as well, which we're going to get to. What I like about these, it's the same colours but it's mixed it up because you kind of and it's just having a look at the actual design so here we've got the red and the navy together that's a good example of the differentiation within the set and there's another good one i'm so sorry to do this to holly but if we go right to the other side you'll see that you even your stripe it's very hard on cameras but you've got the red white or cream and blue mm, mm, so yeah mm. love all of this even the confetti most of the sets well the confetti you've got the mixture of the red the blue and the cream going through some old glory there that's just the navy and then you've got the reds as well that's a really nice bundle and that's a great bundle if you are struggling to pick between the two and you just want to go for one set i think that's going to be very popular indeed but the team are all saying they'd want them all and this is one <laughs> set now if you do want to get them all you will have access to the flexi payments so uh your first flexi payment would be tell you what we'll, we'll do that we'll work that out for you but uh, I mean, it'll be around about forty-five pounds or something like that. Uh, Four seven zero nine two one, your item number. If you do want to go for the multi, uh, that's what we're showing. Then you've got the red or you've got the navy. So three distinct choices with the one-day special. Great saving. But also, just going back to what how Jenny started the show with mode of fabric. It is such a beautiful fabric to work with. Got to remind you that the dispatch date is going to be the 11th of April as well. So it's only because it's coming from abroad. The minute we have it, we're going to get it straight out to you. We're going to jump onto the website and show you the flexi order price. If you have a little look, so this is what we'll do. Flexi order, you can see that you've put everything into your baskets. Then you've got access to a flexi payment, which means today you are paying 51 pounds or 54 pounds 95 pence but if you are a freedom member you don't have to worry about your pmp so good value for money now we do have um some half meters as well jenny so half meters think if you're looking to take on bigger projects Absolutely. obviously very handy yes. i was lucky enough i had half meters Ooh. yes you got yes. Half so get the half meters you lot well, considering, because I say you've done a lot, you've been prolific well, in what you you've made. This one came out of three half metres, and I got oh. enough left almost to have made it half as big again. That's very impressive. Mm, mm. That's really so impressive. Really user-friendly design. I, I will demonstrate yeah. that. So I just had half metres of the wall, and I've still got a lot of fabric left. Your enthusiasm is infectious, Jenny. I love it. <laughs> I love it. OK, we'll go through the options, what you're getting with the half metres. That's your navy confetti. We'll start here. So this is a pick and mix. You're picking any two. There's your, I mean, any two for 14.99 is very good. There's your navy confetti. Then we got old, uh, old glory and cream and navy. Then we have your navy mini stars. Over here, your navy and cream stars. This is nice. Your navy love for America. I do like that. You got the American flag in there. Uh, cream and navy stars and stripes. Navy stripes. Can you stop there? Because yeah. I could see that being a very pretty frock for a little girl. Yeah, that would. Uh, In I fact, could see all that. of them would make extremely pretty skirts or things like that, or even for yourself. T-shirt for yes. a little boy. Yes. Because yeah. you say it's very unisex. Mm. Mm. Uh, going on to Old Glory and Navy. I do like that Old Glory. Cream and Navy mini star. That's your Navy stars. Navy stars and stripes. This is your cream and navy shooting stars. And I do like the shooting yeah, stars. So do I. Going through. And then, then your navy floral. Now we're going to enter into the red tones. So that's your cream and red love for America. Red stars and stripes. And red and blue just works really well. Uh, you've got your cream and red mini stars. Your old glory in red. Cream and red shooting stars. You've got your red confetti. Your red stripe. Your red love for America. Oh, uh, sorry, red and navy love for America. Cream and red stars and stripes. Red mini stars. Old glory cream and red. Red shooting stars. Cream and red stars there. Your red floral. Navy shooting stars. Multi stripes. 
cream and red floral, cream confetti, red and navy shooting stars, red and navy mini stars, and your red stars. That's all the choices you have available to you. So I uh, do have a look. Uh, apologies, we took a little while to go through those, but we just wanted to show them. And now you've seen them, you can get enjoying them. Uh, what we're going to do is head to Jenny. I know she's got some great demonstrations. We're going to jump onto the website first and have a little look, because lots to discover on the website. Uh, we've got the Free Spirit Designer Essential Solid Layer Cake, if you want to get hold of that. So white or cream. Just a really good layer cake. Uh, obviously, you've got your solid colours there. We also have uh, the quilt backing, which is another really good one. The books. Oh, now these are very, very good. All of Jenny's books, uh, and you can see five star review, five star review, five star review. And Jenny is, Jenny, you, uh, I'll be honest, you're not worth five stars. You're worth six. I would add an extra star on there. Would have been awkward if I said three. It no, would you have been very awkward. Jenny, I mean, I you have gone home in a huff. You're definitely <laughs> worth six stars. Uh, so what are we going to play with? We're going to play with, I've got the red and white bundle to begin with. So I've got the shooting stars oh. and the stars, um, what was that, Love for America? Uh, yeah, well, yes. they, well that one, no. So that one's not, that one's the floral, but we have got Love for America. Right. That's oh, floral. you've got the floral, sorry. Just yeah. and, the, and this one too. So uh, I'm going to put these yeah. two together because I'm going to make up the cushion that you mm -hmm. can see at the back here, the okay. one that's over there. Oh, lovely. All right, apologies yeah. for the screen being in the way, but we all know why we've got to have yeah, a screen no, in the way. Yeah, we got that. Yeah, we got that. So, I have cut two strips of fabric, and for those of you who are on the show on Sunday, of course, those of you who bought the six and a half inch ruler mm -hmm. will just be easily be able to cut their strips of fabric because it's six and a half inches. Brilliant. I'm using, and we've got this on the show again in case you missed out on Sunday, the easy square half square triangle. Right. Now, this goes up to six and a half inches, so I've got my two fabrics. Now, top tip is put your two fabrics right sides together. Mm -hmm. Take your template, place the template on the fabrics. Now, it fits a treat because it's mm -hmm. a six and a half inch template and the fabrics are six and a half. Mm -hmm. If you were lucky enough to get one of these on Sunday... They sold out, didn't they? Yep. Yeah. Sorry. So, I have, I'll use one of those instead. That's OK. Having cut the first set, you're going to need four sets of these two fabrics, so four pairs. Flip the template over, replace it, and this time the little black bit hangs off the bottom. See, now, this is clever because you were just flipping along and there's a reason why we've got a little bit cut off. That's right, because it's going to save you three-eighths of an inch of fabric. And believe yeah. you me, in this world, three-eighths is worth saving. Yeah. Right, up there, and then flip it over yet again. If I hadn't got this template, I'd have had to cut six and seven-eighths, and you know how difficult that can be, because no ruler does six and seven-eighths. They will stop at six and a half. Uh. OK, having got my three sets of two, because I put the fabrics right sides together, they're good to go. So yeah. I'm now going to machine down the long diagonal edge, the stretchy edge, using Perfect. a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Now, many of you will either have a quarter of an inch foot or might wish to move their needle. Yeah. Most machines like Brothers and... Um, the genomes and things like that, if you move your needle position to about 5.5, you will get the needle at a quarter of an inch from the inside edge of the presser foot. I have a subtly different machine here, so it's a different position for this particular machine. But you're going to set your presser foot at a quarter of an inch, or your needle at, from the red, from the raw edge, mm -hmm. and proceed down in orderly fashion. Now, one of the nice things that you're going to be able to do is you can sit down and sew. And the only reason for standing up and sewing is that I've only got short arms and I can't reach things if I sit down. Okay. Don't forget to chain feed. So yeah. when you've done the first one, sew off the first one, onto the next one, all the way down, maintaining that even seam allowance. All you've got to do is steer, steer straight. And when you get to the bottom, don't relax, keep sewing because one tends to drift and you drift away from the seam. Pick up the last one, proceed down in orderly fashion. So you need to do exactly this four times all the way down. Now, I would tend to use thread that matched my fabric rather than grey thread, but, you know, just that just helps. And again, on to the next one. Now, in an ideal world, I would sew onto a thread saver, but I haven't got a thread saver, and I'm not certain I'd really want to use that edge of that little bit of fabric. So I've got a tiny bit of ribbon here, because I can't bear to waste any of my mode of fabric. The thread saver, or donkey, is a tiny scrap you sew onto at the end of your seam. You then cut the work away by cutting behind the presser foot. That's called your donkey? 
called a donkey because it carries the thread from one piece of work to another. Uh, it's what they used to use in the mills. Um, they called it a donkey or a monkey because okay. the monkey swung the thread from one piece of work to another. Okay. So you save thread. You don't have the needle coming unthreaded. It doesn't get all muddled up in the bottom bobbin. Now, when you've done all four, mm -hmm. I'm afraid I'm a fan of pressing the seam open and flat. What you could do, first of all, though, is to leave it flat and do what's known as set the seam. And this is done, and here I have my little iron, a tiny weeny ironing board. This is done by just pressing the seam. Now, it's a trick that dressmakers use. Uh, personally, I must admit, I've not really found any reason for doing it, but if you want to set your seam, you can do it. Okay. Open the seam out. I personally think that having a seam open and flat does give a better appearance in the end. Reducing bulk. It reduces the bulk. Now, I'm using an iron on a bit of cardboard mm. because this is Philippa Naylor's trick. She very often does all her ironing onto a piece of corrugated card because it's a firm surface. It gives a little bit and it will give you a very flat, beautiful seam. You're going to need to iron all four pieces. I'm just going to do a second one because then I can show you how they get joined together. So open the seam, whether you set the seam or not, it's up to you. Run the iron down the middle and you would repeat with the other two pieces. Lovely. I'll just open these out for now and just finger press them. Let's put that away. So what we're going to do initially is when you've done all four, they need to be arranged as a pinwheel. I always find a pinwheel a bit difficult, but if you put one on top of another and give it a quarter turn going anti-clockwise, you can fairly easily get a pinwheel. Mm. And there's the pinwheel. Having got the pinwheel, you join two together and two together and straight across the middle. As you do the two together, press again that seam open and flat because it will actually give you a considerably better back. And if you have pressed the seam open and flat, and I'm not certain how good we can get with the camera here, but if you can really can get that seam, you can see there's a little V in the seam. And the base of that V is actually the top of the points on the right side. So if you sew right through that little V, you will be bang on the top of your points. And of course you're helped because you cut them accurately in the beginning using that. Right, I now have a 12 and a half inch square, but that this particular great, design. Jenny. The fabrics, the, obviously using the fabrics on One Day Special, that really does look beautiful. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Making good use of the motor. Right, you could have done this design with any squares you like, providing the end result is easily divisible by three. This is 12 and a half, so what I'm going to do is trim a quarter of an inch off. Again, if you've got something like this ruler, we can place this ruler on so the six inch line goes across that centre seam. And there's just a tiddly bit to cut off all the way round. It actually means that if you've been a bit off with your stitching, you can sort it out with this. So having done two sides, I need to flip the fabric round to 180 degrees, replace the template, remembering I'm cutting it back to 12 inches. The final piece has to be divisible easily by three, unless you've got some very curious mathematics and you can work how to divide mm. 12 and a half by three, because I can't. Up there, I'll just switch mm. it around one more time. Yeah. There we go. Right, once you've got it as divisible by three, okay. back to the long ruler, because this is where the magic happens. Right. What we're going to do now is divide this into three. Now, three's going into 12 how many times? Three or four. Four, well done. Yeah. So I'm going to cut this into four inches. Let me have the ruler around the right way, it'd be helpful. Mm -hmm. right, so four okay. inches this way. And another four. And if you don't move it, you can just cut the other way. Yeah. Into four. And having done it this way, I'm going to do it four this away as well. So whatever size your initial square is, just divide it into three. Right. One, move those bits out of the way. Two. That's missed a bit there. There we go. Right now. Oh, you can say she butchered it all up. What's she going to do with it? There is the centre. Yeah. I can turn this piece round to there, and that piece round to there, and that piece round to there, and that piece round to there, and I can add the four corners like this. Oh, perfect. But if you didn't like that, you could turn this piece round to here, yeah. and this piece round to here, and this piece round to there, and that subtly changes the design. Oh, that's nice. You could have the corners going round the other way. 
and it would be really, really, really accurate. Now, yeah. one quick thing about sewing it together is when you come to sew a classic nine patch, I wouldn't do a row of three and a row of three and a row of three because you've got to jiggle this one to get your seams accurate. Mm. I would do two together, two together, join that pair to that pair. That seems easy. Oh. Do the same thing on the end, go to there, you're making really another square. That seam is easy. Then all you've got to do is join those three together and then jiggle that one to get that together. So you wouldn't go in rows as we typically do? No, because okay. if I do rows, you know, I've got to match that seam and that seam and that seam and that seam, okay, and then do it again. Mm. But it's much easier, if you just do a square, that's a really easy seam to jiggle and get that right. And if I put two on the end, that really is another square again, so that's mm. another easy seam. So you've got two easy seams and only one one you have to jiggle. jiggle. So there you are, that's a small something you could do with the red and white bundle. Love it. You're, the, the team are all saying, and I totally agree with them, you're so good at your education and giving that education across to everyone. Thank you're you. really good with the Thank demonstrations you. and we feel very fortunate to have you here. Say, so, I'm glad we're busy and it's lovely having uh, Jenny presenting this show because we want to get her on and we want her doing more uh, and we want to have a good show so we can get her back. I have to say, it is proving popular. So you've got your, friend, uh, your uh, Moda. This is your American Gatherings. So we're going to go through the options. We will start with your Navy. So Navy first option. And you can see here that wonderful balance between beautiful navy tones and then you've got the crispness of the cream in there as well. So uh, all these wonderful designs going through. So this is your cream option. There's your shooting stars going through. Uh, you've got your stars. This is, is it Love for America coming up? This one, yeah, there you go. Love for America there. Love the little detailing, but it's not ostentatious. It's not in your face, so don't worry. You're not creating something. You think it's going to be like an American flag uh, in your home, but it's got those small little nods, nuances to America. And also, obviously, quilting is huge in America, and the kind of period where I think this is drawing from uh, old glory yes, and that you can imagine. colonial period. That, and yes. that was such a pivotal yes. era for, yeah. for yeah. quilting, for yeah. patchwork. But it's also red, white and blue. It's yeah. our colours as well. Of course well. it is. Course it is. Uh, so that's your navy option. Thirty-three ninety-nine your price, saving six pounds. Your item number is four seven zero ninety-one. You're just picking the option that speaks to you. They are ten American fat quarters. I've got to remind you, everything is going to be dispatched from the eleventh of April. Uh, now moving on to our red option, uh, red and cream, I should say. So here again, we've got such a lovely mix of designs, but just watching Jenny building up that block, seeing how easy it is to make something that looks stunning. And this is what you're getting. Good fabric make a difference. Just two pieces of fabric and you could create, uh, two of the fat quarters I should say, and you can create something very special indeed. So have the red, uh, has the red and cream option captured you? Jenny, if you have just tuned in, Jenny made a really good point earlier on, saying that if you've ever struggled to find fabric that would suit and complement uh, your red work, this is a really nice option to go for. $33.99 your price there, saving six pounds, 470921, your item number. If you're just gonna go for one choice, and you're really on the fence, you like the navy, you like the red, you like where to go, we do have a final option, it's our multi-option, and it's kind of a best of. So you've got navy, you've got red, and you've got your cream in there. Uh, now, uh, they are different designs, so if you do want to go for all three, you're not getting any duplicates here, which is important. So when you're seeing, I'll tell you an example, so Love for America, but you can see the actual, when I say design, the colorway of the design, so uh, is different. So you don't have to worry about getting any duplicates there. So we've got our navy, stars, is this the stars one? That is just called stars. And then we've got our Love for America, your smaller stars, your shooting stars, mini stars in there, both cream and red. This nice, the floral, your old glory and navy, ticker tape and multi. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting way ahead. You've got your uh, old glory there in navy, your uh, ticker tape in multi. Oh, apologies, confetti uh, in uh, multi, and then you've got your stripe in multi. So that is your multi option. You can go for all three, and we did show you if you do go for all three, then you can uh, split the price via a flexi payment. I'm uh, just going to talk about the, we have got the layer cakes in here. Now these yes. are our block layer cakes. Very, very handy. Just having those solid colors. I could see you using these to great effect, Jenny. 
Yes, I think they're, they're ideal for embroidering on, um, putting something on, applying something on the top. You could join them together. I mean, I have made, there's a cushion uh, behind me. Yeah. The camera can come to that. But that is made only out of the layer cakes. Oh. Well, that's lovely work. All right, so that was literally the layer cakes formed the front and I chopped them in half to form the sides. It's actually something I'm doing on um, a class I'm doing on the 19th of April. Perfect. Oh, OK. Right, so we'll look out for that. Uh, you've got options, cream or white, so you just choose the option works for you. And you have got two flex payments of 23.75. We do have a pick and mix on the website as well. We showed you the uh, fat quarters. So, uh, fat quarters, sorry, uh, half meters. So with the pick and mix, you've got uh, pick any two half meter for uh, 14.99. Lots and lots of choices there. So as we go through, you can see it's a great way to get your half meter and really pick the design and colorway that speaks to you. But you can do a lot of things. I mean, Jenny, you were talking about just clothing. You can make some yes, beautiful clothes. Yes, it would clothes. absolutely suit. With half a meter, you can do so, so, so much. Yeah, love yes, it. So I was lucky to get half meters. Anyway, I'm going to show people how to make the quilt that is behind me. Yeah, Because okay. that was made with half meters. Lovely. And I made all of that and the prep I've got in front of me, and I still have left over of each of the three of them, although I have to have butchered one of them, I've got left over just under five inches of each of the fabrics. Okay, mm. uh, I, Two of them I have actually had to use in something else, but I did have five inches left over. So how you make that quilt on the back is actually very simple. I use two and a half inch strips, but you could use any width of strips you like, and the strips actually could be different sizes. But as the design has no seams to line up, and if you're worried about cutting, just cutting them the same size probably is an easy option. So I use the four different blues we've got here. When you come to sew strips together, a little plea, you'll lay your strips out to make the striped band, and I alternated blue, white, blue, white. Please, please, please do not sew your strips together, starting always at the same end. Mm -hmm. When you've sewn one pair of strips together, if you started yeah. that end, sew to that end and then work back uh -huh. and work back uh, okay. because you'll keep it straighter. If you keep sewing in the same direction, it'll end up going like a so diamond. Just alternate. That's a really yes, good tip. Alternate. Jenny, you know, I've picked up a lot already <laughs> and this is just the first hour of the one day special. But you're so good in giving us these little tips <laughs> Thank and tricks. You. And again, I would iron the seams open and flat. Yeah. Right, to make the design, now I just used sort of slightly narrower strips because I, I didn't want to have such a big piece because there isn't the room on the, on the board to get it all out there. Lay your fabrics right sides together or wrong sides together, it matters not. I'll put them wrong sides together. There we go. And trim off the end to begin with. So let's find, I've got my little square there, that'll do a treat. We've got these little squares on the show as well. Mm. But trim the end off. Now, technically, I don't want the fancy cutter. Mm -hmm. If you've used one and a half inch strips, when that is really one inch, so you've got four at one inch plus the seam allowances, this little band should measure four and a half inches, but whatever it measures, you're going to cut it into squares. So check your measurements. Oh, golly gosh, mine is four and a half inches. Spot on. <laughs> Go to the top of the class. <laughs> I've been doing it a long time. <laughs> Right, we're now going to cut this into four and a half inch squares. So you can use your big ruler, your little ruler, or if you've got one of these little small squares, it's absolutely mm -hmm. ideal. So four and a half inches. And you just go on cutting. Four and a half inches. There we go. You should be able to get out of a band nine four and a half inch squares if you're working with one and a half inch strips. If you're working mm. with two and a half inch strips, you can usually get seven squares out. And obviously the squares would be considerably bigger. So there you are, there's eight, and there's one more I can get out of that. And the reason for cutting nine is before I show you the designs on the back there, I just want to show you very quickly something called fence and rail. And the fence and rail is done by taking the block and putting the block, let's get it round the right way. Let's do that one first, there we go. It's steps. Ah, so you're just alternating. You just alternate them. Let's get them round the right way. Hang on. Ah, that's it. And the step goes down there. And that's not right, is it? There we go. There go. One there. And one there. And one there. All right. Perfect. So you've got steps. 
but we're not going to do steps. We're going to take two of these. Now, please, please, please make sure you keep them with the right sides or the wrong sides together, but the same colours together. Mm -hmm. All right, so put them back in their little sets there and there. And what I'm now going to do is divide it diagonally, corner to corner. Okay. So the little ruler goes on the top there. Put the ruler accurately and divide it corner to corner. One there. Right. Let's just do another set. The other little top tip would be is make sure you divide them diagonally the same way. Now, one of the nice things about things like the Old Glory fabric is although it's a directional fabric, Old Glory is written both one way and the other way. So it's only got one direction as opposed to having to have two directions, mm. i.e. you've got to get the writing all the right way up. Okay. You don't because they do the writing upside down and the other way around. You'll see. Right, so right. divide this little lot. And we're going to do, as I did on the previous demonstration, sew these together. Now, because they're cut on the bias or on the diagonal, you have a bit of give. So if your seams aren't quite right, you can stretch it a little. So I'm just going to sew one set together. So whether you start at the thin pointy end or the other end is entirely and utterly up to you. And yet again, it's a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Try and match your seams up. If you want to pin it, you can do. If not, take a peek inside and have a quick sneaky look and just check you've got those seams together. Remember, you can stretch a little. Yeah. And, and when you get to the bottom, of course, onto your donkey. That's a We've donkey had a here. good question from Christine, who's just saying, uh, Jenny, what do you do with your offcuts when you're cutting your blocks? You know, little offcuts that you're left with. I keep them yeah. and then I use them for things. Good. You see. And when you open it out, look what you get. You see? <laughs> nice. And if you were to do yeah. that four times, move these things out the way, Beautiful. you would end up with a block that could look like this. Now, this is not my idea. This was done by, I think, Susan McDowell. Okay. Years and years ago, she wrote a book on what you could do with strips of fabric. And this was one of her designs. Mm. And she called it Ribbons and Bows. And there you go. Oh, that's lovely. And if you didn't like that, you could play yeah. with these pieces and, you know, just fiddle around with them. They right. sort of make steps, if you wanted to, going across the fabric, yeah. and then you could have a white step. So that's how I made the quilt that's behind me, by okay. using two and a half inch strips, considerably bigger squares, so they actually measured eight and a half inches from one side to the other, cut it in half on the diagonal, sewed them all together, and... Of course, you've got the backing there as well. well we didn't well mention the backing. Spotted. We do have the backing for you too. So just picking this up. We have got the backing. We're going to put the details on your screen. So if you do want to get your backing, uh, it's one and a half meters by 110 wide. So good width to it as well. Uh, you've got this quilting backing, 29.99 your price. Uh, and it's 401968 your item number there. It is a cotton. Um, it's described as a muslin. Oh, yes. Well, that's um, American for calico. Oh. In, interestingly, um, in the States, what we call calico over here, and calico yeah. is basically an unbleached cotton fabric, right. they call muslin over there. That's, yes. What they call cheesecloth, we call muslin. Okay, that makes, <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, okay, so that's your backing on there. Jenny, I've got to ask. So, yes. Christine, when she was saying, you know, little bits, can you give us a little bit more? You know when you say what you use your little bits? Because you look very little. mysterious. Well, no, you see, it all depends on how little they are. I mean, if, yeah. they're, if they're that small, they get used as donkeys, I might throw it away. Okay. Um, if it's a bit bigger than that, it goes in my scrap box. Right. And, and it sits there it. until I use it. And you see, you can make a little cabin out yeah. of all sorts of little bits and pieces. Mm. So don't I, throw anything away as the wall. No, wall. you don't yeah. throw anything away because you just put it in your scrap box because suddenly, if you're doing a bit of applique, you will want it. And yeah. there it'll be, down the bottom. Uh, I have a scrap box that never seems to get any less, no good. matter how much I Endless use. scrap box. And look, <laughs> a worst case scenario, if you're looking for a donkey, you've always got one there. You've always got a donkey, yes. So, thread of burden. <laughs> uh, one day special, we are busy for our one day special. So this is Moda. And what Moda bring you is such beautiful, beautiful fabrics. So um, we know we've got the brand that we can trust. The designs are stunning. This is your American gathering. So it's a nod to America. And I think Jenny put it best. You've described it beautifully. It's that colonial period, that sort of pivotal period where uh, so many techniques and blocks were discovered uh, and we still use them to this day. So this is your first option. This is your navy. And it's a wonderful celebration of designs uh, balanced between the navy and the cream. But I love this, what Moda do so well. It's obviously you're never going to gauge the feel of the Moda. But when you get it home, you will feel that beautiful quality. It's wonderfully 
soft. Yeah. It just when I opened the box and I just thought how nice to have fabrics that are nice, yeah. that are good quality fabrics. Having worked with all sorts of different kinds of fabrics, this was a real treat. Yeah. Well, there's a reason why Moda is so well loved. That is your first option. So that's your navy. Then we've got the red. You are getting whichever option you go for. You're going to get 10 American fat quarters. And I've also got to say that anything on the show, uh, it will be dispatched on the 11th of April. That's only because it's coming from America. And when we have it, we'll get it straight out to you. This is your red and cream. Oh, now this is interesting. Red and cream has taken the lead, Jenny. Well, you see, it's that red work, you see? Yes. We love, we love red work. Yes, we do. And seeing here, beautiful array of uh, lovely reds and it's really nice tones of reds as well. It's kind of, um, we described, uh, mentioned the French General, which is a very well-known uh, fabric brought to us from Moda and it's got that nod to the French General there. 33 99 your price, saving six pounds, 470-921, you pick the option that works for you. So that is your red and cream. If you're struggling to pick between the two and you kind of want the best of both worlds, we have got a final option and this is your multi. You're not getting repeats in the sense that, uh, am, I, am I right in saying this is the We Love America? Yeah, so uh, you can see We Love America here, you're getting that design, but it's different to any of the others because you've got the red and the navy together. You've got the beautiful stars in there, uh, more stars, shooting stars, mini stars coming through. So there's lots and lots to play with. That's just shooting stars. The minis going through, lots to play with. Uh, and over here, uh, you've got the confetti and the stripes, which is another uh, example of the red and the navy mixed together with the cream. Thirty-three ninety-nine your price there, saving six pounds. Four seven zero nine two one your item number. Now we have got the half meters as well behind me. These are a pick and mix. Forgive me, but these are busy. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly go through. I'll just read out names and then we'll get straight back to Jenny. Is that all right, Jenny? Absolutely. Uh, so having a little look, and you've got your navy confetti. Then Old Glory in Cream and Navy, Navy Mini Stars, Navy and Cream Stars, Navy Love for America, Cream and Navy Stars and Stripes, Navy Stripes, Old Glory and Navy, this is your Cream and Navy Mini Stars, Navy Stars, Navy Stars and Stripes, Cream and Navy Shooting Stars, uh, your Navy Floral, your Cream and Red Love for America, Red Stars and Stripes, Cream and Red Mini Stars, your Old Glory in Red, your Cream and Red Shooting Stars, Red Confetti, Red Stripes, uh, Red and Navy Love for America, Cream and Red Stars and Stripes, Red Mini Stars, Old Glory in Cream and Red, Red Shooting Stars, Cream and Red Stars, Red Floral, your Navy Shooting Stars, your Multi Stripes, which happens to be the most popular. Good blender, really nice blender there. Uh, this one's Cream and red floral, cream confetti, red and navy shooting stars, <laughs> red and navy mini stars, and your red stars. There you go. So half meter each, pick a mix, you're choosing any two. And brief. Uh, lots more to discover on the website as well. Do have a look. We've got Jenny's books on the website as well. Uh, can I just hold these up, Jenny? Yeah, of Is that all right? You're yeah, very sure. welcome. You can so wave them around, hold them I've up, got, think through the pages. I don't mind. Well, I'm going to show you here the material magic. It comes with the creative uh, cuts and textures. Yes, isn't it's right? there as well. Yep. Let's have a little look. Sorry. Excuse me. Here we go. So there is a saving if you buy them both. I mean, the amount of education you're getting in both of those. Whew, for for 1894, Jenny. That's <laughs> very good value for money. Uh, look, anything Jenny brings you. I'm a fan. So you also you know you're going to get something. Material Magic's fantastic. Your creative tucks and textures in there as well. That's not easy to say on live TV, no, Jenny. No, that no, could no, be no. a career I, ender. I didn't think about that when yeah, I wrote the there title. There we go. <laughs> Last time you see me here. Uh, <laughs> let's go through and see. I mean, absolute treasure trove of education in there. This this book's fantastic. Thank you. They, I mean, they both are. But just for that alone, 
I would happily pay the 1894. Genuinely, if you went to a class and learned how to make that, how much would you pay to go on? This is a full uh, course with Jenny, and you're getting both books in there as well. So 1894 for both books. We, uh, well, books are always busy whenever you bring us books. I've also got the fans and fabrications. Let me just show you here. Jenny, you're very good at your designs. <laughs> How good does that look? So this is your fans and fabrications by Jenny Raymond. Uh, 9.95 is your price. Lots to do, lots to discover in this. Absolutely lavish in detail. Good pictures as well, Jenny. Thank you. Yeah, I like this. So there we go. Just another option you want to have a look at. 9.95 is your price. There are more books to discover on the website, so do check those out. 248 394. Jenny, what have you got for us next? Right, what I'm going to just very briefly do is take everyone through the samples that I have made, really, okay. so that you can see it hasn't you done amazingly well. <laughs> okay. We have up here, and this comes from the Foldy Roldy book. Uh, this basically is half square triangle, so another reason for having that half square triangle ruler. Mm -hmm. This design is also from the Foldy Roldy book. It's actually a design that is called after a firework called Girondole, and it comes out of that book, and it's all made from squares. So mm. these are squares, and these are squares, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. This design down here you've seen me do. This is the Pilgrim script bag, and I just have to take two seconds to show no, people please this. do. No, in fact, I'll show you that yeah. in just a minute after I finish talking you through the other okay. things. Then we have some bunting, okay? And say. that was made with the 60 degree template we've got on the show. Yeah. This quilt you have seen. Beautiful Moving bunting, to this can side. I just say, beautiful bunting. I thought it was really good, that, actually. Yeah, no, it really um, is. I'm afraid it's sort of rather quickly stitched onto a piece of ribbon, but you could use some very nice bias. Yeah. It took me minutes, wow. minutes. I will show people, yeah. if not to, uh, today, tomorrow. Then we have a Japanese knot bag. This is a raiment design. It's considerably easier doing it this way than with a rounded section. Nice. Then you've got the cushion that was all made from the layer cake. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea for that you'll actually find in sew pieces. And here again, we have the design I'm about to show you, which comes from the 60 degree template, but just to make you all laugh, okay. This is the Pilgrim script bag. We've got time for me to say something, yes, okay. But you don't have to have wool in it, okay. Just imagine, imagine you are a pilgrim and you're toiling your weary way over hill, valley and vein. And you've got your bag and in your bag you'll have all the accoutrements you want for the journey. Obviously mm. you'll need a big large ball of wool. Now Maybe it some cornbread in there? Yes. And as it's raining you have no umbrella. You have nothing like that. But Mummy Pilgrim, of course, had to be a woman, not that I'm biased, had a bright idea. She emptied everything out of the bag. And I'm now going to regret this because I did do my hair beforehand. Oh, Put Jenny. it on her head. And can you not see them bent double against the driving rain? But they were now protected. Jenny, that is genius. And there are going to be a lot of viewers who are in that situation with that very bag <laughs> caught in an April shower, walking around proudly with the Raymond hat. Comes from Tucks and Textures too, by the way, in case you wanted to know. <laughs> Genius. Genius. A script bag. It is based yeah. on a script bag carried by the pilgrims way back in the 12th century, before even I was born. You do paint, you paint a good story, Jenny. Nice story. Can I just say that Jenny is available for birthday parties and bar mitzvahs <laughs> and telling stories? <laughs> just going to give uh, details oh, yes. for the books because they are proving very, very popular. Now, you talked about the Foldy Rolly, yes. and I have found the book. Should we have a little pick? Yes, uh, you have a little Foldy Rolly. Oh, there the comes a lovely picture of yourself on the back. It's probably a little ancient now. Yes, wow. yes. Not at all. Let's have a, have a little look. We saw the two uh, examples that you used in the studio, so just create these wonderful effects with the foldy rolling. You see, actually, like, coming back to stripes, yeah. um, the, the thing that I pointed out that actually comes from that book, if you use the stripy fabric with any of my techniques, mm -hmm. when you fold the stripes back, they bend and distort. You get another added dimension oh, to nice, it. Like so, I mean, I was really delighted with the stripes. Jane, I just can't believe how much you pack into a book. Look at all the, for 9 99 this is a ridiculous amount of education. As a reference book, if you are a lover of uh, sewing, I think this is the one for you. It's an absolute education with Jenny. Okay, there we go, that was your foldy rolly. What are we gonna do next then, Right, Jenny? I'm going to show people how to make the block that was on the center of the quilt that was behind me, oh, nice. which is made out of six 60 degree triangles. Now you can do your 60 degree triangles with your ruler, it is perfectly possible to. And I will admit there is a bit of video out there on the internet with me trying to show people how to use a 60 degree line on a ruler. And I'm not going to demean myself by repeating 
the problem I got into because I turned it upside down. I had it back to front. I had it round the other way yeah. because I actually have considerably easier to use a six degree template. Okay. So to save embarrassment, and the lady who took that bit of video knows perfectly well who I'm talking about. Mm. In fact, she's known to you because her name is Sasha. Oh, I know her very well. Yes. She's quite yes. fancy, isn't she? She is. She yeah. has a piece of video of me trying to cut a 60-degree triangle with a ruler. Jenny, I'm, I'm going to have to look for, search for that after the show now. <laughs> You've teased us with it. I'm going to look, I'm going to look for it. It's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I have two two-and-a-half-inch strips stitched together, yeah. and I, in fact, cut six strips. I cut two in blue, two in the red, and two in the confetti. You stitch a blue and a confetti together, a blue and a red, mm -hmm. and a red and a confetti. So you end up with three bands. Yeah. From the three bands, you're going to cut triangles. Now, I am going to save myself a lot of effort mm -hmm. by putting all three layered together. So I'm layering them all together. If you're worried about this, you can so easily just cut them as singles, but just to save time. So I've layered the three together, placed the template on the top, now, this particular template will give you multi-sizes. And I'm using the four and a half inch cut measurement because these are two inch strips when finished, two twos are four, add your seam allowance on, this should measure four and a half. Right, there is four and a half. Bring your template to the very end. Now, if you were thinking about this and you're doing it with fat quarters, you probably want to make up two strips because that will give you sufficient to make the design that's behind me. And when you do that, offset your strips. So have them so the top one is set in a bit. Then you're not going to waste that little piece of fabric. If you're working straight across with half meters, it doesn't work. So just, you just accept the fact you're going to waste a bit of fabric. Cut up the edge of the template. I'm right-handed. Flip the fabrics over. Replace the template. If you're left-handed, you just do it the other way around. Pop the template on the top. You can use as a guideline one of the lines across the middle of the template running along your pressed open seam. Yes. And then cut up the other side. So we've cut one side, cut the other side. And now you can just flip the template round. You needn't move the fabric. And you'll need to cut six pieces for each of the hexagons. Oops, Daisy. Helps you cut through the whole lot at the same time. Let's move that lot out of the way. So here is my design. Mm -hmm. And basically what you're going to do is you start off with confetti. You need to find another one that's got confetti. There we are, I've got two confettis together. Now I need to find a blue friend. There we are, there we've got a blue friend. Now I go to the middle and the red one wants a friend. There's his friend. Mm -hmm. Go to the outside edge, the confetti wants a friend, there's his friend, and the blue one wants a friend in the middle. And Lovely. there is your design. Ah. Now, technically, because you've got 60-degree diamonds, mm -hmm. you possibly could sew them together as three sets of two and do a Y seam in the middle. But if you sew accurately and if you press your seams open and flat, you can stitch the hexagon together as two halves. Mm. Should you find that you're getting distortion in the middle, then go back to doing it as three separate diamonds and a Y seam. But if you do it as two halves, and if when you join them, so you put them right sides together, line up your seams in the middle, and again, we have that nice fudge factor because it's on the bias, it will stretch a bit. Underneath the machine, quarter of an inch seam allowance. So off your little donkey, all the way down. Now, top tip is if you're worried about holding these seams together, if you use a small pair of scissors partially open, the two points will actually help hold the seams together. Oh, okay. Because you're applying double pressure. I know you can buy these stiletto things, but actual fact, a pair of small, small pair of open scissors will hold those seams together and you get two points of pressure. So over that, to the end. Retrieve the donkey who's yeah. now at the other end. Hello, little donkey. Stuff him on this end. Very unkind to donkeys. Mm -hmm. Donkeys go. work hard for you. They do indeed. Now, when I come to sew the next piece on, before I do it, press that seam open and flat, and you will find it will make life considerably easier. The watch point is, is to make certain when you stitch the next piece on, you put it on the right end, because uh. if you put it on this end, it won't work. So put the two pieces right sides together, and now I would sew the block from the outside edge to the middle. 
Mm -hmm. Because if I start in the centre, the machine presser foot might slew because it's on that wadge of fabric. So flip it over, align your seams underneath the presser foot. Please sit down at home. You don't have to stand balanced on one leg. When you get up to the end here, just make sure that back seam is nicely open. I would not have pressed it. I would only have finger pressed it at this mm. stage because if you do press it, we're a bit apt to stretch all the fibres. If you're worried about it moving, hang on to it with your scissors. Off the end, find your donkey. Hello, donkey. Here we go. Snip. My donkey's grown, you might have noticed. Mm -hmm. And this will actually form half of the hexagon to make the entire hexagon so the other three pieces together yeah. join them together and you will end up with that and mm. this can be played with in so many different ways and you'll see depending on which way I turn it round you're going to get a wonderful 3d dimension because you've got such lovely difference in the colors from the light and tone and shades point of view yeah. so you've got your red you've got your white and you've got your blue and I think I love that trick box. It's all right. Beautiful block. Isn't Absolutely it? stunning. When you see it in the quilt behind yes, you, it yes. just gets even better. And what I did then was I put the pieces, and I used the uh, people who have seen me do it before. I got rid of the raw edge by the uh, the uh, violin technique, where you put mm -hmm. a piece interfacing on the back, and then I applied it to two half yards, one of Old Glory and one of Old Glory, which I was able to match the lines up. They matched up very nicely. And because the writing goes both ways, I didn't have to worry about all the Old Glories going in the same direction. And putting them together, you're seeing an illusion of a bigger block in yes. there, small and big. Yes. I've got to tell you, time is running out, but uh, we are very busy for the books. I'm going to hold up two. These come as a pair. You can buy them individually, but the saving is on the pair. So what you've got here is your ma material magic and your creative tucks and textures. For 18.94, you are saving six pounds. We'll have a look through material magic and then tucks and textures. But going through here, and it is a treasure trove of information from Jenny. And just watch it. Anyone who's watched this hour will see just how incredibly knowledgeable Jenny is. I think she is an absolute revelation. Uh, really nice to watch. And she's just so passionate about giving you all that information that she's learned. So that's just one of the books, Material Magic. What did you hope to achieve with Material Magic, Jenny? I just wanted, it was my lockdown book. Uh -huh. We locked down, I had nothing to do. I thought I should put a few ideas together. So it's got Japanese folded in there. It's yeah. obviously got things to do with circles in there. It's got some neat, silly projects to do. It's got a really easy way, and I might well demonstrate this, um, of creating um, no, actually, that's in Fans and Fabrications. I'm getting muddled. Okay. Well, um, there's a line. Do you know all the way I'm seeing it, Jenny? How much would you, It's not unrealistic to pay £10 for a pattern, pattern right? No, yeah. Look here, for £9.50, say, you're getting a whole book, chock a block full of elements, and then you're getting another book uh, in there, the, the bundle we're showing here. This is your tucks and textures. Love this. Really like this. So you've got your introduction in there, and then we start getting into all the project. So Tux and Textures, as the name suggests, Jenny, it really is just a celebration of all these beautiful techniques, and they got the wow factor. Thank you. Love that. So lots to discover in those books, very good value. Uh, we also have the layer cakes as well, just really quickly, because I know we've got to talk about the one day special, but uh, layer cakes, if you want to go for those, two options, your cream or your white. So your uh, essential solid layer cake, whenever you bring them on, they're popular. 47.49, your price there, 540.702. Now, with regards to the one day special, and it's been such a pleasure watching Jenny playing with these, you can see how much enjoyment she's got from her Moda fabric. So this is your American gather gatherings, uh, your, sorry, your gatherings by primitive, uh, what is it, your gatherings by primitive gatherings, yeah. There we go. Uh, it just, just sounds like a bit of a mouthful. I don't know why I'm questioning myself. We'll just call it American Gatherings. That's your cr uh, navy and your cream. Then we've got our red and cream in there. Still the most popular red and cream. I think a lot of people connecting with the red and cream, and especially when Jenny started mentioning red work, we noticed they'd be spike. Uh, so perfect for your red work. If you are struggling between to, uh, picking between the uh, options, we have got one final option for you. This is your multi, which is the best of both worlds. You've got lovely navies, lovely reds, uh, and also a beautiful combination of both. Jenny, I love working with you. I really do. I, I, think I enjoy working with you, and I just enjoy being here. Well, we love, we love having you here, and I'm you sure... You to pick me up again, I yeah, can't no, cope. No, we love it. Ah. Can you please, 
email in if you want to see more Jenny because I know that a lot of you do we all do so email in because we want to see more Jenny so do email in I have to hide behind the yeah. bag no <laughs> quick put it on your head no I'm kidding don't put it on your head I'm kidding you don't put it on your head put it on my head the uh, other way around you see, you and go. then you can't see me <laughs> perfect so <laughs> Thank you so much, Jenny. Jenny will be returning. Uh, she will be returning at 8 o'clock with Paola. So please tune in there. Oh, I love Jenny. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the show as well. Big thank you to Jenny and her hat. Uh, and uh, do check out your baskets as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Jenny will be returning at 8 o'clock. Uh, we've got plenty more, though, coming up. Studio lights just around the corner. Ooh.